Hey everybody, welcome to Breakfast All Day. Christian Alonzo talking about uh, the new Netflix documentary from Kirsten Johnson, uh, the director of Camera Person. This one is Dick Johnson is Dead. Dick Johnson is Kirsten Johnson's father. And what is really cool and beautiful and strange about this movie is that she stages his death over and over again in these wild and weird ways. And he's totally game for it. Like he's happy to play along. And he's in his mid eighties at this point. He is a longtime psychiatrist who is on the verge of retiring. Um, he is beginning to feel the effects of dementia creeping up on him. And so he, he packs up his practice and moves in with her and her family um, in New York. He'd been in Seattle. And um, she and he together work through what they both recognize is the end of his life by making this movie about death. And rather than fear it, to explore it and to play with it and maybe have fun with it. And so the, I, I love his attitude. He's totally inquisitive and like upbeat and up for anything. She's asking for crazy shit and they like, they stage it. I mean, some of it's like just a random on the sidewalk thing with a small little bitty crew. But some of it's like a giant set with like extras and costumes. Oh yeah, heaven. <laughs> yeah, and it's, um, it's a really tough tone that she pulls off, right? Because this could have been icky, sicky, maudlin. It's not, nor is it, tone deaf it never clangs like she just finds that total perfect sweet spot he is such a lovely gentleman and their bond is so true and so heartwarming and uh, and watching him slide further into dementia is totally heartbreaking yeah. and we see him taking the test the same cognitive test that Trump, yeah that trump has been bragging that he aced where he said he could remember the words person woman man camera tv over and mm. over again you see him having to repeat those words back to the doctor administering the test and you know see that he's not doing so well and it's and to see him get scared is so heartbreaking and so yeah. it's really it's really lovely and sad and very honest yeah it's it, it, it you're right it does kind of balance these weird tones and and you know, part of it is Johnson daughter, Kirsten Johnson, is constantly having to sort of remind the audience he's on board with this. You know, like we see the times where he like went like they, they do this one thing out on the sidewalk and he's got this like blood packet and it's really cold and it's uncomfortable and, and she's like, okay, fine, uh, we'll pull the plug and they stop, you know. But then like she'll take an, an incident where they, were, they go out for Halloween and they, they, they park him in a friend's living room so she can go out with the kids and he forgets where he is and he gets really frightened and he doesn't think she's going to come back. And so then they sort of recreate that in a, in a stylized way. But like you always see her talking to him and making sure that he understands what, what this is about and how it's, we're, we're, we're calling back to this. Remember that time when this thing happened and, um, yeah, you know, it, 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 it's this death is such a taboo subject to this day. Um, you know, the one thing that we all have in common, the one thing we're all going to go through at some point. Uh, and nonetheless, yeah, there is such a hesitancy to really kind of look it in the face. And so, uh, you know, I, I, I really admire what she's doing, not just for herself and for her father, but just I think for, for, for film viewers to kind of, wrestle with these topics and just sort of, you know, I, I think it would be great if more people could have frank discussions with their parents about health, about how their health is going and what the decline is going to look like and how do we plan for that. And, and, you know, the notion that, yeah, one, one day, one of us isn't going to be here, you know, um, so because he was a psychiatrist for so long. Yes. He's so acutely aware of what is happening in his own brain. Well, and the fact that his wife had similar, went through the same process and eventually had to go into, to, you know, into a nursing home. And so and he doesn't want to do that. Yeah. He does not want to do that, but, 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 but for, for him and the daughter, like this is very familiar terrain. And there's even a little bit of footage of the mother where you kind of see where she's trying to remember names and who's who and things like that. And that's, that stuff gets me right at the core. Like one of the great sort of 
I, I, fears of my life is reaching that stage where I don't remember things and I don't know where I am and I don't understand what I'm doing there. And, you know, so uh, I, I really admire the frankness with which the entire Johnson family is really kind of sharing this experience with us and letting us sort of vicariously see what it looks like and see what, what, what very healthy and open conversations about it look like. I think it'll help a lot of people, right, who they themselves have gone through that with their parents. I mean, and Alonzo, you were like me. Your parents died before they reached this stage. My parents died when I was in my mid-20s, and so I never had to deal with parents experiencing cognitive decline and how heartbreaking yeah. that is. So, I, I, I mean, I feel weirdly lucky that yeah, I it was, have to. It was mere, mere physical decline did them in, sadly. Yeah. So, yeah, I never, I never got to that stage with them either. So. Yeah. But, but, you know, and I know it's out there and I've seen it happen to family friends and I've seen, you know, obviously there's, there've been more and more films about it in recent years, both narrative and documentary. I mean, like, oh my God, uh, Sarah, Sarah Polly's away from her. It's just, oh you know, God. such a so devastating lovely. experience. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, I, I, you know, I, there, I, the thing about this movie that, I, that it kind of, it reminded me of a movie that I like a lot less than a lot of other people was um, The Act of Killing. Uh, because oh. because that movie was ostensibly the premise as it is set up in the film is that like is that these horrible people who were part of this this regime who perpetrated terrible things were gonna tell their own story in a movie and you know show themselves as the hero and I didn't feel like the movie ever quite delivered on that idea like the clips that you see never it never really quite felt that they did the thing they said they were gonna do whereas this I think she very much like kind of walked you through we've got these stuntmen and here they are learning to walk like my dad so they yeah. can substitute for him you know we have you know uh, you know, we, the, he gets in a coffin at one point, and like in the church where his funeral is going to be, and his best friend is there. And it's, it's like, it, this is a movie that like, it's constantly pulling the rug out from under you, even though it's telling you that it's going to be pulling the rug out from under you by doing it. So it, I, 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 I really admire what's going on here. Also, we just talked about the Glorias a minute ago and how the flights of fancy seemed really at odds with the realism of the story and the emotions yeah. that she was trying to tell. Here, Kirsten Johnson finds like just the right balance, right? Totally. It's Absolutely. so rooted in day in, day out, mundane living. Yeah. It's that you could like reach out and touch it. You know it so well. But then like crazy stuff is happening with slow motion and g confetti and <laughs> flying and... Um, and it's playful in the right ways. It, it was also really interesting that she is sort of creating this notion of heaven when she also explains in the narration that like the, that her family was raised Seventh-day Adventist. They don't even necessarily believe in heaven. They don't think anybody's there until Jesus returns to the earth or whatever. So, you know, that was kind of a, an interesting leap where, you know, where it's not even his, it's more like, it's more like a movie heaven than it is necessarily what their personal one would look like. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, I, I, I admire this film and I'm, I, I'm glad that it's on Netflix because I think, you know, especially with documentaries, they don't necessarily get out and about in the world and make it to smaller markets and that kind of thing. So this is a movie that anybody can be watching now and, and should. And should, I'm saying eight and a half. Uh, you know what, I think I went low. I'm gonna say eight. Okay. So, 8 so we're in 8.3. Yes. Uh, so yes, Dick Johnson is Dead currently streaming on Netflix. Thank you for watching. Like this video. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, visit us uh, on uh, social medias at Be Fast All Day. And check out our uh, Patreon page at patreon.com slash Be Fast All Day. We've got our TV recaps. We have uh, classic movie reviews that our, that our subscribers pick for us. All kinds of exclusive goodies. You don't want to miss it. Check it out. Thanks for watching, you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.